special place. It's the place where only around 65 of the very best young musicians get to come and focus purely on performance. I first found out about Anam when I was in first or second year uni. I should say I'm originally from Perth in Western Australia. I did my undergraduate um, with honours there um, at the University of Western Australia. And then a lot of my friends came to Anam and I've just heard stories of how incredible it was and I used to go on the website and that was before they accepted percussionists because it was quite a small school at that time. They didn't have brass or percussion. And then when they did take percussion, I was just over the moon and incredibly excited and um, I got a new teacher in the last year of uni and I phoned her up at the start of the year. I remember the conversation, I said, I really want to apply for Anam. For a musician who wants to study at Anam, there's an audition process. It's quite a competitive process. There's only around 25 places that will be available every year. Sometimes I like to perform with other people, say for example in a brass quintet or a smaller chamber ensemble, because um, then you can showcase a lot of different instruments and get them excited about various other instruments as well, and music in general. Um, but every now and then I'll try and perform a lot of solo repertoire that's not too wacky, not too modern and kooky, just to make sure that it's accessible for a lot of people so that they can enjoy the music. Our quartet sort of prepared and, and rehearsed leading up to it and we played uh, various repertoire from Beethoven to Schubert to a uh, Australian, contemporary Australian composer, Paul Stannett. I also played a smaller groups because I do some new music works and they often um, attract smaller audiences but the people are very keen about the, the particular content of the works so I love playing to large community audiences and, and smaller more particular audiences as well. So we played we played the show to about 2,000 children across five different regional centres. And there was heaps of community members there, so there were the, the children and their parents and other community members came along to see the show, so that was really exciting. Uh, well, body percussion really encompasses anything that you can do with your body, so leg slaps or clicks or stomping or, you know, cool sounds with your mouth, you know, it's like a combination of whatever you want, really, yeah. And, and we give that to the public to enhance just life enrich the community. The Anam audience in itself uh, is a bit of a community. We like, yeah, we often see them quite a lot attend uh, all the concerts. It's often just a spontaneous kind of perform and then it's gone. It's um, the beautiful ephemeral nature of music that it's just there for an instant. This is my iPad with my music creator on it. Um, so I've got the PDF file on here and with the application on here, it um, just can, it turns the page easily when you click it or you can have a Bluetooth pedal, foot pedal that turns things as well for you. I'm really enjoying practicing and playing and um, hope to be, well I, after I finish NM I hope to be playing, playing at the same rate as I am now, like I'm playing all the time. I regularly get together with uh, I'm a part of a brass quintet. We formed as a part of Anam, but we often perform outside of Anam. Um, and that's a really fun way to sort of just break out of the typical concert sphere and have a little bit of fun. We recently did a concert at a pub where we did Disney arrangements. More often than not, we'll start a session by just sight reading everything through. So just, uh, we call it no fashion sometimes. Um, but um, it's getting used to a piece. Um, not only practicing your own part, but then seeing how it fits in with everyone else's. Uh, an example of a musical idea is like uh, how you phrase a certain line, or how certain lines fit in with one another, or 
balancing a chord. Um, you sort of have to know what note it is you want to play in your head before you play it. Um, and you have to sort of trust that you've got the right mouth shape and that the right airspeed to produce that note. I mean, if I hear something in a performance, in an orchestra, in a lesson or anything, and I think to myself, wow, that's amazing, I want to I try and figure out what they're doing. I'll, I'll go into a practice room and try and recreate what it is that they did. There was a chord where it was just like, um, but, so it was really short, really punchy, really stabby, and you only get one shot at it really, you can't really sort of correct. Well, my, my favourite group to play in is probably a, a string quartet. There's just so much um, amazing repertoire that we can play, and, and, the com and composers loved writing for it. It's just a sort of a dream team of, of string instruments, so to speak. In, in this bar, we, we have a sudden, a sudden drop in dynamic or something, or, or in the bar before, we do a crescendo and then come right down. Um, and then we test that in rehearsal and then when it works it's, we, there's sort of this energy that we all we all sort of feel and we're just like wow oh, that was really cool that really works let's do that and then write it in and then it's sort of locked in for the performance. Well Animal Year Round like brings in um, guest artists from all around the world. And they, they treat us like professionals and it just feels really really great to get that respect from these wonderful wonderful musicians. And we have quite a few students who can who can sing and one of those students decided it would be a great idea to sort of get some male voices together and, and start a singing group. Uh, well we, we, we switch around parts every now and then like sometimes I sing in chest as a tenor and uh, recently I've yeah we, I've sort of jumped up to, to alto and that's been quite fun to <laughs> and our falsetto would be uh, something like that. I love getting to work in the South Melbourne Town Hall. It's, it's an amazing old building and it's got a real character of its own. And it's pretty wonderful being located in South Melbourne. There's a lot of fabulous cafes, so if I do need to pop out and have something to eat, there's lots of excellent opportunities. And lovely having the market. I, um, I moved to Melbourne to study at NM, so it's, it's been the centre of my life here. This is the first thing I did in Melbourne is, is come to Annam and study here. And so it's really shaped what I do here. It set me up with a network of friends and colleagues and connections in the, in the arts and wider community. Yeah, I mean, I have lots of friends at Annam and um, I love coming to watch their recitals. And I, any opportunity I can, I come to the concerts here because they're amazing and it's lovely to sit in the audience and not have to stress about moving the gear on stage. It's really helped me build and develop my career as an emerging artist. So. I owe a lot to Anna and I'm very grateful.